Hey guys, Mike here from 3 Mississippi and uh, I'm gonna share a little honesty with y'all today because why not, right? I'm out here working on a chicken coop and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm not a carpenter. When I was a very young man in my teens, I went through a carpentry program in the Job Corps and uh, then went to work uh, kind of as an apprentice working with some framing uh, guys for a short period of time before I joined the military. I got just about enough knowledge of carpentry to be dangerous, uh, but I'll tell you what I am, guys. What I am is an individual who is not afraid to do work, not afraid to try stuff, okay? So that means I'm going to make mistakes. And when I make these mistakes, I feel like I need to share them with you. I could edit those mistakes out, make a pretty video showing that everything went perfect, but we all know that that's not real life. Real life is you learn from mistakes. That's how you learn. That's your best learning. You can learn some stuff from books. You can learn some stuff from watching other people. Hopefully you don't make the really bad mistakes. Hopefully you learn those things by watching other people's really bad mistakes. But man, when you're doing stuff, you're going to make mistakes. Let's talk about some of the mistakes that I made on this chicken coop build, uh, and, and it's not done yet, there's more to come. They're good mistakes. I've learned from them, and I had reasons for some of them, not realizing the implications uh, that were coming. But there's a lot to build out here. We got a barn to build, we got a tiny house to build, we got sheds to build. So these are good mistakes. They were learning mistakes. Let's talk about them. All right, guys, the first mistake I made was putting down two by fours for, uh, for floor joists instead of two by sixes. Frankie and I then had to resolve that by coming along after the fact uh, and putting some, uh, some forms underneath there and some four by fours and some concrete. And it cost us a lot of time and, and frankly, probably more money than it would have cost us to do two by sixes up front. So that was just a bonehead move on my part, uh, thinking, ah, it's just a chicken coop. Uh, and then realizing the things that were going to be heavy that were going to be in here. So that was mistake number one. Mistake number two was standing these walls up on top of the uh, of the floor joist before putting the floor down. And I had a good reason for that at the time because it's winter time in Mississippi and it's raining all the time. I wanted to get the walls stood up and be able to get my rafters on top of this thing and get some tin up there before I laid my floor down inside. Otherwise, I'd have water damage to my floor before I ever got it built. Well, the problem that caused was I laid my floor joists out on 16 inch center from the outside, like you're supposed to do. <laughs> then I laid my floor down inside of a three and a half inch wide wall. Those of y'all that could do math know the problems that caused. So now I'm having to rip you know flooring that I, I would otherwise have not had to rip and it's just caused more work so is what it is sorry about the audio guys i uh i should have mic'd up uh it's raining and i'm standing right underneath of a tin roof so i'll uh, i'll talk loud and hopefully in the editing room i can make it so it's not too annoying on y'all otherwise call it an asmr moment we'll just listen to the listen to the rain here you go just listen to the rain. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to work. So the next problem I've got here has to do with my with my doors, with my openings. And you can see this one right here, I got some sheathing on the outside that I have to cut out. Now, no, David, it come on homesteading. The problem I'm about to identify is not the header. This he, He's making fun of my header because of how beefy they are. This is a perfectly fine header. Normally you'd lay, you know, a couple of two by sixes together with a half inch uh, sheathing in between them. And um, I didn't have those, so I used all two by fours. These are some beefy headers. That's not the problem. The problem is down here. Check this out. Right here is the bottom plate that normally, once your walls are, are in and everything's good to go, you cut this bottom plate out here and there and kick it out and you'd have floor underneath of it because you built your wall on top of a floor. Nope, I didn't do that. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to contend with that. This is a chicken coop. I don't want to lip right there. I want to be able to shovel stuff out of here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a solution to that. I'm probably gonna get in there and, 
and slice, 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 and then chisel it out so that it's level with the floor. And again, time wasted, time spent, you know, but a lesson learned. Okay, let's talk about the roof, all right? Um, I still got one header to build right here. Um, we'll get that done. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is right up here. Guys, I didn't put a second top plate on. I was in such a hurry racing the rain uh, and trying to get what I could get done in between rainstorms that I got these walls stood up and got them tied together and just started throwing rafters up and totally forgot to run my second top plate along there. Now, I thought about leaving it like it is, but we get a lot of wind here and I'm just worried that, that that's gonna cause some, some problems. Plus, you know, over time, I don't wanna get bowing and settling like right here, you know, this rafter right in the middle of an opening of a doorway. So, I gotta contend with that. And I got a plan, I think, but again, you know, it was a mistake made. If I'd have done it right the first time, it would have cost me an additional, you know, 15 minutes to put that top plate on there. Um, now I'm gonna spend a couple of hours fixing it. Another problem's out here on the roof. Uh, somebody told me, uh, somebody, somebody commented on a video that uh, when I was putting the roof up, that I was actually overlapping my metal incorrectly. Guys, I haven't even researched that yet. That might be true, it's staying, but I'll show you what we're talking about. That four by, or that one by four actually is up there just as a cleat uh, to keep me from sliding off the roof when I get up there and put more screws on, but you can see where that 10 overlaps. Somebody told me that I did that wrong, I did it backwards. Like I said, I haven't researched it yet. I don't know if I'm going to, because it's staying. <laughs> Some folks measure their success by the labels in their suits. Some folks let their family ties choke them like a noose. But not me, my friend. No, not me, my friend. No, no, not me. Not me. We all got to die. And when it's my time, I'm gonna die living, die living. Give me wings and I get talking. That's how it's supposed to go when you lay your 16 inch centers out correctly. Lucy, I will play, I will. But hold me back or tie me down Trap me under a golden crown And watch me blow this nothing town I will Nope, not gonna work Die living Die living Some folks argue politics till it drives them mad. Some folks let their problems shine with them like a badge. But not me, my friend. No, not me, my friend. So again, not on 16 inch centers on this side. Because I measured starting on the inside of the 4x4. Four four. Bonehead move. I know some of y'all are saying, Mike, do you like working in the rain? No. No. I do not like working in the rain. But here's the thing. It's February in Mississippi, y'all. It's not going to stop raining. It is not going to stop raining and the work's got to get done. So here we are. Sid's making dinner. Frank is making hot chocolate. It'll be all right. So one more problem with the way I did this floor by putting, the, uh, by putting the, the walls on top of the joist is at the edge of my flooring here, I got nothing to nail to in between the, uh, the joist. So what I'm having to do is come along underneath here and add a board all the way down on every one of those. I'm gonna have to add a board so that I got something to nail to along the edges of my floor. So there you go.
I mean, I guess there's a reason they build stuff the way they build it, right? take it apart and try to fix it right now I got my straightest crooked board straightest crooked board yeah You got to rip plywood no matter how straight it is unless you got a table saw you got a little bit there but i put most of the gap on this side i'll fill it over there yeah it'd be all right we're gonna lay some linoleum down on part of this where the chicken poop's gonna be this side over here is actually gonna be a feed room so it's probably gonna be fine just like it is well there you go guys i really wanted to make some progress on this build the uh, the weather was just not uh was not in my favor today but I show mother nature I ain't afraid, you know what I'm saying? My hat is soaking wet. Like I took it off and then I put it back on and it got real cold because the wind got inside of it. Anyway, that's where we're at, y'all. I, uh, I got the flooring, the subfloor done. Uh, I got the floor in on top of it. All that's left is linoleum over on this side. We're gonna do that at the end. I got sheathing on uh, both sides of two corners. That really helps sturdy it up. And then I got sheathing all the way down one side still have to cut the doors out uh still got to cut that sheeting off at the top plate and add some pieces up there whatever um you know there's still plenty to do plenty to do but we uh at least i don't feel like i sat around the house and watched youtube all day today i did watch some got caught up on a few things and uh managed to get some work done so now i'm gonna go butcher a deer that's been sitting on ice for about 14 days and uh, I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm gonna have some hot cocoa and I'm gonna bundle up because it's fixing to get cold. Thanks for watching y'all. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you get the notifications and we'll see you next time.